Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Judah, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you five ways to read more during this school year. I get that the school year is almost over, but you could still use this for next year and just any other time, because really this tip goes for anything that you have during the day. Just to let you all know, all of these points I'm trying to get you to get good sleep, because like lots of readers do not have good sleep at all, me included, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> I do not get good sleep and I'm going to be taking advice from myself. I've been gathering information and researching away for this video and I'm taking my own advice for this. So let's get started. Step number one is to get off the devices, guys. I might sound buzzkill for saying this and I might be a hypocritical because I'm literally on my phone as I'm telling you this, but get off your phone, your TV, your Xbox, I don't know, your laptop, any device that you use Put it down. I'm not meaning like completely shut it off and get rid of it. I mean, unless you want hours of reading time, because if you really think about it, we spend hours a day on our phones or our Xboxes or our TVs when we could be reading. It's insane actually how much people are like, I don't have time to read. You do. You just choose to spend that time on this phone. Just limit yourself. Limit the amount of time you get on your Xbox a day. Limit the amount of time you get on your phone a day. Limit the time you watch TV. Limit the amount of episodes you watch. Limit how much of a movie you watch. Probably should not be watching a two hour movie every day after school. That's just unhealthy. If you do that, I do not mean to offend you, but that's kind of unhealthy if you're watching a two hour movie every day after school. Like, if it's like an hour and 30 minutes, that makes more sense because you're leaving time for other things like homework. It's only 30 more minutes, but let's just say not a movie every day after school that can be dangerous. But obviously if like you're reading on your phone or your Kindle or your iPad or your tablet, that's okay because you're still getting reading time and you're just on the device while you're doing that. Do you guys get what I'm saying here? Just limit the amount of time you have on each device. And this actually will help you. It's not good to spend your time on a device all the time. That kind of sounds weird but it works because it's proven to mess with your eyes. The radio wave thingies, they're like going through your bodies. It's actually not good for you to even sleep with your phone in your room. I don't sleep with my phone in my room. Um, I'm usually not even supposed to have it in my room, but I'm filming a video, so yeah. Step number two, scheduling. This won't work for everyone because some people's schedules are already so full to the brim where they don't have any time to read. But for most of these school students, this will work. Maybe not college, but I'm not in college. So if you're in college, I don't know what to tell you for this part. You can just skip it. If this doesn't apply to you, skip it. Make time to read. Like, it's as easy as that. Put time into your schedule to read. Most of your days will be better and organized if it's scheduled. One thing I used to schedule my days is Notion. If you watch Haley Fam, you probably have heard her mention this so many times. Just a minute, I was actually typing this. Pushing buttons. If you watch Haley Fam, you've probably heard her mention this before. She uses Notion for every... Why is it doing that? Sorry, my phone's like lagging. It's putting on all my notes for this video. It's like following what I say and I'm bugged by it. Okay, if you watch Haley Fam, you've probably heard her talk about Notion before. Notion is this amazing app or website where you can schedule out things, you can write in a journal, you can track things. This isn't even a paid promotion. I do not have paid promotions yet. I'm not... Not gotten any emails. Hint, hint to any business people watching this video, please email me. Love you. But anyway, yeah, use Notion. It, it can be confusing at first, but just look up a video on how to use it. You can schedule out however much time you want to read. Like if you want to read an hour a day, schedule an hour for reading. Specifically for reading where you know you will actually read. If you want to read two hours, two hours to read. Or you could do one hour here, one hour there. It's like, it, it can change for anyone. You can customize it any way you want. <laughs> Another part of this, read mornings and nights. It's first off good for you to wake up and read or go to sleep and read because it like calms you. It like brings you down, tires you. Reading is tiring. It's strange, but it puts you to sleep unless, unless you're really enjoying the book. But it can like, it makes you like calm, which is good for some people. Like me, I'm very hyper. Like if you're a super caffeinated person, read before bed. It will help you fall asleep and calm down. Step number three, read a book you want to read. If you're reading a book that you don't want to read, you're not going to want to read more. You're going to want to not read more. So read, read the book you want to read. If you don't want to read it, don't read it. It's not bad to DNF a book. Let me say that again. It is not bad to DNF a book. Like for real. 
DNFing a book to some people seems like insanely like a bad move, like a sin, but like if you're not liking the book, put it down. Like some people feel like they have to finish a book, and like that's fine, but like if you know you don't want to read the book and you know you can put it down, put it down. Because like you'll get so much more reading done if you know what you want to read and if you're reading what you want to read. Find your genre. That's the number one goal for readers. Find your genre. It could be romance, mystery, thriller, fantasy, romantic, dystopian. There's so many different types of genres. It's insane, actually. You probably could take like, an on like, online quiz for it, or you just have to read around, see what you like. Some people like multiple things, like me. I'm a mood reader, so I read whatever I'm in the mood for, whatever time I want. It's really hard for my TBR. Step number four, and also I'm just realizing I have six ways. So, yeah. Read during school. No, I do not mean while your teacher is talking to you. I'm not going to be a bad influence on you like that. I mean, some people do do that. And they get away with it, some people do it, and they don't. Don't be that person that gets caught. There's little times throughout the day in school where you can read. Like, finish test, read. You're given free time during class and don't have any work to work on, read. If you're just sitting there and staring into the abyss, like this, read. There's so much time to read, and like, you don't even realize it. You're just, you're not supposed to talk to your friends unless the teacher gives you permission. So read instead of talking to your friends and getting in trouble. It's really simple. And I'm not saying you can't talk to your friends. I'm saying that if you're not supposed to be talking to your friends, don't just read. And if you don't want to talk to your friend, that's totally fine. Just tell them to back off because you want to read. You do not want to mess with a reader. They get angry. I know because I am one. Step number five. Do not procrastinate. This may sound like a stupid thing to say. Like, how am I going to get reading done if I'm, if I'm not procrastinating and doing my work later? If you get an assignment on Monday and you will have to turn it in on Thursday and you know that, put it into your schedule. Time back to the last one. Put it in your schedule. Do you hear me? Put it in your schedule. Schedule out 30 minutes to work on the assignment if you think it's that much. 40 minutes, an hour. It could be any amount of time you need to work on this assignment. I'm moving my hands weird this video, I'm sorry. But yeah, you can read every night and still work on the assignment. It's like interchangeable. But like, once you have the assignment finished, you're gonna have more time to read, more time to do things, more time for anything you want. Another thing procrastinating will do to you is if you procrastinate, you're gonna be spending the entire last night of this, like before it's due, you're gonna spend the entire night before it's due doing it, and then it's gonna be, what, 11 o'clock? Then you're gonna read till three. That's a problem. Sleep deprivation is real. Don't deprive yourself of sleep. Your body needs it. Cleanses your body does everything good for your body. The last step, the sixth step, is an easy one. It's audiobooks. Listen to audiobooks. Some people are rats and say, audiobooks aren't reading. It's still getting the book done. And yes, it counts as reading. If you're doing something and like, if you're doing some laundry, put in the earbuds, start listening to the audiobook. If you're just sitting somewhere drawing, listen to the audiobook. If you're just sitting and staring into a abyss like you do at school sometimes, put in the audiobook. Listen to the audiobook. It will help you get the book done faster. They aren't bad. I promise you they aren't bad. If someone's judging you for reading an audiobook, don't listen to them. Listen to me right now. They are not bad. They are not bad. So if they're being like, audiobooks are bad, they're not even books. Don't listen to them. Tell them to back off or you're gonna bite them. There's been a lot of biting in this video. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I get angry at people who say stuff like that. That was the last step. I hope this helped you figure out ways to read more, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, press the like button, subscribe, and comment some books that you like, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!